I made two plant-based milk today, almond milk and oat milk. And here in front of you is the almond milk. Let me show you how I made it. So for the almond milk, I used ground almonds. So that makes your job easier. And for the oat milk, I used rolled oats. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the um, almonds into my Nutribullet. It's important to use a blender that is, you know, is powerful that can really blend, you know, because if not, you, you just end up with um, a not so smooth mixture, but obviously we're still going to strain it, but it will make your job easier if you use something like a Nutribullet or, you know, something similar. So I'm measuring two cups exactly two cups of ground almonds and i'll be putting it in my uh blending um cup so that's what i'm doing at the moment so the first cup is going in so i'm going to put the second cup now so basically for this uh, milk i am using a ratio of two to one so basically if you use a cup of ground almonds then the measurement of water will be two cups and if you use two cups of ground almonds then the measurement of water will be four cups so basically that's the consistency that i'm going for so it's not too watery and it's not too thick it's just the right consistency but by all means if you wanted it more watery then you can increase the amount of water it depends on you the next thing i am going to be putting into my uh blending cup is some ice cold water so that's going in so that's equivalent of four cups of ice cold water remember what we were talking about ratios right so that's why i'm adding four cups the equivalent of four cups the next thing going in is some vanilla but by all means that's totally optional you don't need to add that but i want to add just a little bit of vanilla just for color and for you know flavor as well but i'm not adding any sugar at all i'm not adding no honey i'm not adding any um you know sweetener or anything like that just vanilla and that's it guys so I'm going to be blending in a minute. Of course, I'm going to be giving a stir to make sure everything is well combined. All the dry baits, all the you know almonds is combined with the cold water as well. So now I'm going to be blending our milk. So I'm closing the lid of the cup very tightly so it doesn't fly everywhere and i'm gonna blend now so to strain this milk i'll be using a nut bag which is what you see in front of you so you can get this from any shop but i got mine from amazon so that's what i'll be using so what you want to do is put your nut bag into a big bowl or or jug like I'm using you know it's always get good to get a bigger one so at least you know you have full control of the nut bag so that's the blended um, almond milk which I'm gonna be pouring into the bag that will be, and then the you know to basically catch all the rough bits then you're gonna lift it like so and as you can see, the milk is already coming out at the bottom. So you just want to keep giving it a squeeze until all the milk is out. It's a long process, but trust me, guys, it's well worth it. And after straining this is what i got guys that's our milk almond milk nice and smooth homemade doesn't contain any additives doesn't contain any preservatives no chemicals 
no sugar, no honey, no sweetness, totally unsweetened. And that is the remnant from the bag. Can you see the almond um, pieces? But I'm not going to throw that away. I'm going to put them in the in a small freezer bag. I'm storing my freezer so I can, you know, add that to my cookies or, you know, whatever. So those are the bottles that I'm going to be putting my milk in. So I got this from Amazon. Um, It's a pack of six. It didn't cost that much at all. And also these are the labels that I'm going to be labeling them with. Remember, I'm making two types of milk. So I need to be able to differentiate which is which. So that's why I'm going to use a, a label. So it's, these labels are really good. You can just put them on the bottle and just write whatever it is you want to write on it. So now I'm going to write on the label. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to write what's in it. This one is going to contain almond milk. So also the marker pen that I bought was from Amazon. Is there anything that you don't get from Amazon? So that's it guys. So that's one labeling done and I'll continue with the rest. So it's time to put the milk in the bottles that I labeled. So this is almond milk, like I told you before. Wow, can you see that milk? I'm, I'm telling you, by the time you make this milk, you know oh, you made this yourself, your own homemade almond milk. And who knows? You start telling all your friends. By the time you know it, people will be saying, please, can I have some almond milk for my porridge? Can I have some almond milk for my breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> and then business has started so the ground almonds was enough for two bottles of milk so this is the second milk that i'm filling up now exactly two bottles so basically if you wanted more then you obviously have to increase your ground almonds and that's done guys that's our second almond milk done so like I did with the first one, I'm going to label it as well. So I know which is which. And our two bottles of almond milk is done. So I'm going to start on the oat milk now. So for the oat milk, I'll be using 100% whole grain rolled oats. So let's start. It's basically the same process with the almond milk but this one i'm just using oats and it's the same uh ratio of two to one as well so like i did with the almond milk i'm going to be measuring two cups exactly two cups of um uh, rolled oats i'm putting it in the baker cup then the next thing i'll be adding water but for the oats milk i'm not going to be adding any vanilla it's just going to be just the oats and the cold water and that's it so now i'm ready to fill this cup and start making our oat milk so for the oat milk i'll be adding the cold water first the reason being because oats are quite uh, rough so that's why i'm adding the liquid first the next thing i'll be doing is adding the oats and then we'll be blending it till we get our nice smooth oat milk so then oats go in and that's the first cup going in then i'll be putting the second cup as well and then we'll start blending so that's the second cup of oats going in now so we're going to be blending in a minute so first, before blending, I'm giving it a good stir so everything is well combined and there are no dry bits at the bottom. So I'm ready to blend. So I'm going to put it up like I did with the um, almond. I'm going to put that on my Nutribullet and we start blending away. I blended it for exactly three minutes 
to get a very smooth consistency because as you all know oats are a bit rough almonds are a bit smoother and softer so there you go so like i did with the almond milk i am using the same jug and i'm going to be putting my nut bag over it the nut bag that i used for the almond milk as you can see i already washed it removed all the particles and i am now ready to use again so i'm going to be straining the oat milk in and we'll have our oat milk in a few seconds or should i say minutes So I'm ready to strain this um, oat milk. So I have my nut bag over my jug. So I'm just pouring it in, pouring the roll oats and the water. So that will catch any rough bits. And like I did with the almond milk, then you know, that's what it looks like. I'm just going to be lifting that up as well and squeezing it, you know, which is why it's always good to get a bigger one, a bigger nut bag, as opposed to a smaller one where you'll be struggling to hold it. And for this one, I decided to, you know, put a nut at the top so it doesn't splash back on me. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to be squeezing it, all the nice milky goodness coming out from the bag, going into the jug. And before you know, we'll have our jug of oat milk. And this is what I have collected so far and more is still coming out. So I'm just gonna keep squeezing till I get everything out. There's no way I am wasting this, no way, you know. I'm going to be using some to have a cup of tea later, you know, to reward me for my hard work. <laughs> of course. And I've finished squeezing everything out. As you can see, we had a lot of milk collected in the jug. And that's the uh, nut bag. But I'm not going to be using the um, particles that we collected. The reason being because I have a lot of oats at home. So if I wanted to make cookies, I can always, you know, just make some oats or whatever. So like I did with the almond milk, I already went ahead and labeled the bottles that I'll be pouring the oat milk in. Remember, I'm making two types of milk. So and both of them look exactly the same. So I need to be able to differentiate which is which. So like I did. Before I'm going to be pouring the milk into the bottle, so this will fit exactly two bottles. I think, judging, just judging from what I can see, I think there will be a little bit left over for me to have a nice cup of tea or coffee. We'll see, let's see. So this is the second bottle that I'm filling. And like I said before, I knew there was going to be leftover. Did I not say? <laughs> so that's our oat milk, guys. So the oat milk is ready. So I went straight and put it into the fridge. So the almond milk and the oat milk are in the fridge. And this will keep for three days in the fridge because it's homemade. So guys, thank you so much for watching this far. If you enjoyed the video, please give your girl a big thumbs up. Like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye